So I was excited. I, I still need, you know what? Maybe, you know, it's been two years. Uh, maybe I should finally uh, uh, pick up one of these things. But uh, Raspberry Pi 3 is now out. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it's a 64-bit processor. They've added Wi. I think Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are now built in. I believe. Uh, so uh, right, and still thirty-five bucks. So there you go. Pretty powerful computer. Even the Raspberry Pi um, operating system Linux that that's a part of it um, actually is not sixty-four bit. But again, if you're getting in there and programming stuff for it, you do have access to those instructions. Um, this is becoming more and more to me like I, I I'm seeing I'm seeing some some benefits to snagging these things. To like, okay, for me, I'm thinking of um, something that we want to do here in the future where we're simply playing video or streaming video to a TV, like in an office. Um, I think this is all I want. So if you're if you're familiar with back in the days of hacking the old original Xboxes and there was a product called XBMC that they then ported to Linux. Right. Plex, Plex is kind of a, a version of XBMC. And then XBMC became Kodi. K-O-D-I. Mm-hmm. Um, and the new version of, of Kodi version 16 is codenamed Jarvis, by the way. <laughs> but <clears throat> they, they have a Raspberry Pi version. And if I were going to say anything, check out check out that distribution of, of Kodi because it is like the perfect media player built off of kind of like a Linux kernel that was meant as a up, down, left, right, B, A mm-hmm. kind of interface. It doesn't require any real typing. There's on-screen keyboards. Um, the whole release was meant to run on an Xbox, and the only input device you had was your right. your game controller. So um, it, it can do remote and local storage, DVD, Blu-ray, other media, it has every codec under the sun for for video decryption. It's just an all around great I mean, and wonderful. I mean, it'd be a playlist of what we do that just went mm-hmm. kind of persistently going, right? So, mm-hmm. that, like that, I guess that's all I would need because I because otherwise it'd be uh, hiding a tower, hiding an old tower somewhere, right? And hoping in, like the Windows doesn't try to update, right? Um, no, I can completely <laughs> see that happening. So, awesome. And with that thing about it, you could remote. You could remote in real quick and do some quick and dirty updates. Oh yeah! Oh certainly, certainly. Um, oh, version seventeen is going to be called Krypton. 